Hello everybody, it's me Heather, and yes, I have no makeup on today, but I'm at my new apartment, and I'm actually shooting with natural light, so give me guys, you know, give me some feedback, you know, as you watch this video, let me know if this is working for you. It's actually overcast today, so hopefully in the future it'll be brighter days if I try to shoot with natural sunlight. Just let me know how this looks, guys, and yes, I have no makeup on, but I have no makeup on because... I ordered this from Mac yesterday, paid for overnight shipping, and as soon as I got, you know, I checked the tracking and it said it had been delivered, um, this is how I wanted to break in my new apartment, was doing this haul in my new apartment, so it arrived here, so I'm still, you know, living with my boyfriend as I transition and get new stuff and furnish this apartment, so I just... Uh, Basically, I'm going to be back and forth between both apartments for a while. So I wanted to save some time and just get on over here and get my package and open it up with you guys and take a look. So I've literally just opened it, but I haven't looked at what's inside yet. So I'm excited. I know it's in, inside because I ordered it, but I haven't played with this stuff yet. And let's just go. So first off, how cute is this packaging? Oh, my God. So this is the Mac Toledo or Mac Isabel and Ruben Toledo collection and it's a huge one and the packaging is so cute oh my god I love this this is great look at that it's um actually it's double packaged how nice definitely be keeping that I'm a sucker for packaging and that's gorgeous even on the inside so these two are fashion designers and they're also a married couple and basically this face that you're seeing all over the package is Ruben sketching his wife's face. I think that's so cute. When I first heard that was, you know, the inspiration for these little doodles, I was just like, okay, I'm sold. That's cute. So, ugh. I picked up the lipstick Oxblood, if I can get it out. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, this has a kind of that slightly rubberized feel to it, but look how cute that is. So, Mac Toledo, or Toledo, as we say in American English. And this is the shade Oxblood. It is a matte. And it's just a pink peachy nude. And I'll go ahead and swatch it. There's that. And I'm going to actually go ahead and put it on because I don't have any makeup on anyways. Why not? Perfect. I was worried this shade might be, I don't want to say too light, but it would be the kind of shade where I probably need like a lip liner and wear a full face of makeup. But as you can see, I was able to just throw this on. It's not bad. It's got the typical MAC vanilla scent. It's got a nice texture. It's not a dry matte. It's got that kind of semi-sheen matte. Mm, very pretty. So this is Oxblood. Oh my god, so excited about the packaging. So let's go ahead and get the lip gloss then. So I also got the matching lip gloss, also in the double packaging. How cute is that? And this is also in the shade Oxblood. And hopefully I can get these open without ripping them because the packaging is really cute on this. There we go. And this is Oxblood. It's a, basically the same shade as the lipstick. Go ahead and swatch that for you guys. Give you a good swatch. There you go. So that's Oxblood. And I'm not going to put that on top, sorry, because I'm, I'm a bit of a snob when it comes to my lip glosses and lip glasses. I don't like to apply them directly to my lips if I already have a lip color on. I like to put it on the back of my hand and use a lip brush. That's just me because I don't like, I don't want to contaminate the color and the applicator over time, but there is your swatch. Oxblood. Super cool. Okay, next item I got is, let's do the eye stuff. Why not? All right, let's start with the eyeliner. I got an eyeliner. And again, look at the packaging. It's so fun. I love the double packaging. That's such a nice little... Oh, I'm a sucker for packaging, guys. So I went ahead and I picked up this eyeliner. This is in the shade Chlorophyll, if I can get it out. Ah, oh, I love it. So Chlorophyll is kind of like this neon green. So what do they call these? A Pearl Glide? You know how they always have all their fun names? Yeah. Chlorophyll Pro Glide Intense Eyeliner. So let's take a look. I'll just swatch that right there. Ooh, very nice creamy texture, nice pigmentation. So I will be having fun with that. So tomorrow I will come back here 
with all my makeup, well not all my makeup, but some enough makeup goodies in tow to do a full face and I'll do a full face tutorial using all the stuff that I'm showing you guys today. All right, this is the mascara, what do they call these? Modern Twist Lash Curling Mascara. I got mine in the matching shade Chlorophyll. This is also that same neon green. So, oh, look at them, sucker for packaging, I had to have it. Yes, love the doodles. All right, and show you guys the mascara. Look at that brush, isn't that crazy looking? Looks like a, kind of like a caterpillar, this all. Yeah, very cool. I like that a lot. Can't wait to play with that. All right, this is probably one of the items I'm probably the most excited about. This is the eyeshadow palette. Wow, that is so light. I'm like, is there anything in there? <laughs> there better be. Oh my god. Oh, scared me to death. I was like, oh my god, it's not in there. That's what I have. See, this is why reading is fundamental, people. Reading is fundamental. It says on here, Isabel and Ruben Toledo powder blush brush. I opened this up and first I saw nothing. And I'm like, oh my god, my eyeshadow is not in here. There we go. I'm a sucker for these brushes. This is, you know, you can totally skip this. Nobody needs this brush. It's just super cute. I'm really digging the artwork and it has ooh, the texture of all the packaging has this kind of, it's got that rubberized feeling. It's got kind of like that satin matte feeling that um, like NARS has on all their packaging. It has that, which is really cool. But this is a totally overpriced powder brush. Oh, the bristles are really soft though. They actually feel softer than these usually feel because a lot of times NARS limited edition brushes are not that good. Oh, and I forgot to mention guys, my dog is here today, Puzzy. So she might pop her head in during the video, but right now she's still getting used to the apartment and she's really excited about us having a balcony. So She's just kind of looking around, exploring. Anyways, next item, eyeshadow palette. There we go. This is the Belle Greens eyeshadow palette. It's a six, what do you call this? Sextet, sextet. <laughs> but also got that rubberized feeling. Ooh, very nice. Got the, it's got some nice weight to it, but very cute. It's got a little push button here. So let's take a look. Got a little mirror. Try not to blind you guys with the mirror, but that is the eyeshadow. And I'll go ahead and do finger swatches for you. So there is that. Hi, Posey. My dog. Let's see if I can try to get her to make an appearance. The camera's actually up higher than she is, so might have to maneuver it so you guys can see her. And that was actually really stupid of me to do these swatches because I have nothing to wipe them on. I used the tissue paper in the box. All right, I got two more items and then that will conclude my haul. This is going to be really cool. So this is one of the, this is the blush ombre. This is in kindergarten red. So the packaging is really cool on that. They have two more ombre blushes. One of them is already sold out on the MAC website. That is the right peach one. I have the Proenza Schooler um, Ocean City blush that looks really similar to that one, so I probably won't pick it up. But this is Kindergarten Red. Very cool looking. Love the packaging on that. All right, and see if my finger's clean enough for me to try to swatch this. Just going to blend those together. So that's what it looks like on my finger. Very pretty light. Not really, it does say kindergarten red, so it's not like blood red or seductress red or anything, but very cool. All right, and kind of surprised that the um, blush doesn't have a mirror. thought that was kind of unusual, especially since this is a $32 blush, but you know, it's one of those things that so many compacts and blushes and eyeshadows have mirrors, but I almost never use those mirrors. I don't know about you guys, so it's just me, but I would still prefer to have a mirror. It's kind of an industry standard, especially if you're going to charge $32. Just saying. All right, the last item I got is I got one of the nail polishes. So again, double packaging, very cool. So this is in the shade Faint of Heart. And it's just a nude polish. I know it's kind of hard to see the color because of the special packaging, but I really wanted to have one of these. And it's just a really, really light 
nude with a hint of pink. That's probably hard to see, but it's called Faint of Heart. All right, guys, so that is my haul. I've already met some of my neighbors, which is pretty cool. Super excited about that. And, yeah, I think this is going to be good. And see if we can get Puzzy over here. Puzzy, come here, babe. Come here, girl. She's like, what? Come here. So you guys can see Puzzy. Hi, Puzz. Okay. She's feeling kind of camera shy. I think that's all. See if we can get her to come up. Come here. Wee! Hi, babe. Hi, babe. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing to me? All right. Another time. So let me know how this looks with natural lighting. And then tomorrow I'll take that in consideration. I'll shoot a video using all these items and throw a look together for you guys. Let you know my overall first impression, how things are performing. And probably in the future... Um, I'll probably go back to just having a solid wall behind me. I just prefer that. I feel I feel personally distracted myself looking in the viewfinder and seeing my kitchen behind me. <laughs> so that's just me. All right, guys. Go ahead and follow me if you're not already, uh, or subscribe to me if you're not already a subscriber. That way, next time I post a video, I'll pop up in your subscription feed. If you are, don't already do so, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr. And I think that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, leave your comments and questions down below, and I'll get back to you. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.